Ah, the Italian. They're so passionate, aren't they? But what about the Swedes? They're quite cold and reserved, right? You probably heard or used some of these statements to describe certain people or groups of people. Maybe you've heard about some other cultures and countries such as Germans, Scots, Spains, Romans, and many others. Stereotype is an integral part of our everyday life and every one of us have at least one stereotype. Stereotypes are a generalized belief about certain people or groups of people in their behaviors, characteristics, or appearance. The term belief in the definition indicate that stereotypes are not proven facts, rather they are opinions mostly of the majority formed throughout history. This means that they are not always true and usually overgeneralized. So why do we use them? They simplify the world around us. Having stereotypes, it seems that everyone have their place in the world. Without them, we feel a little bit lost. They help us while being in an unfamiliar environment or situation. Relying on our stereotypes help us to understand certain behaviors, opinion, and react towards them. This way, a person feels safer while meeting new people from different cultures. Stereotypes help us justify the things we see or hear. It's easier than analyzing it according to the facts, right? Even though stereotypes make us feel safe and simplifies the situation and the people around us, they can sometimes be extremely negative and present a barrier in our intercultural communication. Stereotype can lead to prejudice, the feeling of like or dislike towards something that is usually unjustified. While stereotypes are connected to our cognition, prejudice are in correlation with our emotion. Stereotypes about Russian people and how scary they are can make us feel fear while in interaction with people from Russia. This will interfere with our communication and openness towards them. What are other consequences? Well, discrimination. Discrimination is connected with our behaviors and it makes us behave according to our stereotypes and prejudice. If you have a stereotype that Russian are scary, you might be afraid while talking to a Russian and maybe try to avoid communication with them or don't even start communication with them in the first place. That's why it's important to raise awareness about your own stereotypes and try to form your own attitudes and opinion about other people, not before, but after we meet them. What can we do to suppress our stereotype? First, we need to become aware of our own stereotypes and accept them because stereotypes exist whether we have them or not. It's a part of our lives now. By becoming aware of your stereotypes, you can recognize when they appear while talking with people from other culture about which you have a stereotype. Then, try to suppress that stereotype and approach that particular person with an open mind and willingness to learn about that one person and their culture. Who knows, they might be extremely different from that stereotype. Now, you can make your own opinion and attitude about that person based on your experience, not on the opinion of the majority. Also, while traveling to different countries, it's recommended to learn about that culture, the traditions, norms, way of living, and belief. This will help you to understand their behaviors, and you'll feel safer when you have certain knowledge about the culture you're going to visit. Congratulations for completing this short lesson, which gave a brief introduction to stereotypes and prejudice. If you would like to learn more about this topic, or if you're interested in accessing additional resources in the 3Ps program, please visit the resource library on the Act It Out MOOC.